Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and I can't believe it. I'm in just as much shock as everyone out there listening to this, but the SEC has handed over the Bill Hinman emails uh, having to do with the Ethereum free pass speech and the drafts of the speech. Uh, I just, wow. And, and I'll tell you this here at the outset of the video, uh, Garland House says that what's in here will shock you. So a, a number of things to note. This is a developing story. Uh, this The news on this broke just a little over two and a half hours ago. And um, I, I happened to find out about 20 minutes or so after the news broke and I was retweeting it, but I was just like, jaws just dropped. I just, I couldn't, it actually happened. And so there are a number of questions that uh, a lot of people have as a result of this. What does this actually mean? Are, are we going to get to see this? Because like, fine, Ripple's got the documents. They got the emails. They got the, the, uh, the drafts of the Ethereum free pass speech now. Okay, great. That is truly great. But are we going to get to see that? What are the implications in terms of a potential SEC v. Ripple settlement now that this has happened? Well, I've got perspective from several attorneys within the XRP community, as well as comment from uh, Ripple's uh, general counsel, Stuart Alderati, who is their top in-house legal guy, as well as Ripple CEO, Brad Garlinghouse. So I'm sure we'll be unpacking the implications of this four days, and there very well may be new additional exciting developments. I'll share with you what we got at this point. The only thing we don't actually have in our hands, uh, you know, in the general public anyway, you and I, we don't have the emails, like I said, in the drafts. But, oh my God, <laughs> what big news. This actually happened. Uh, but before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a legal or financial background of any kind. I am not offering legal or financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right, so here, here's the magic right on your screen. Uh, this, this breaking news occurred at, here, let's get the exact time from the first tweet. Yeah, 5.51 p.m., that Central Standard Time. Uh, today, the, uh, what the hell is it? Is it the 20th? I think it's, yeah, it's Thursday the 20th here. And at the time I'm recording this, it's now 8.35 p.m. Central Standard Time, so a little over two and a half hours since the news broke here. And here's what Stuart Alderati had to say, who, again, is Ripple's general counsel, so that, like I said, he's a top in-house legal guy at Ripple. He said, over 18 months <clears throat> and six court orders later, we finally have the Hinman documents, uh, internal SEC emails, and drafts of his infamous 2018 speech. While they remain confidential for now at the SEC's insistence, I can say that it was well worth the fight to get them. I've always felt good about our legal arguments, and I feel even better now. I always felt bad about the SEC's tactics, and I feel even worse about them now. <laughs> so, looks like, uh, and look, I can't speak to whether or not there's truly exculpatory information in there, but there seems to be... Uh, some big stuff based on what he said. I'm going to share you, uh, Brad Garlinghouse's uh, comment on this in just a second here. Um, and we'll also, we're also going to circle back around to theories on why the SEC might be insisting that these documents remain confidential, at least for now. And, uh, and I will tell you also, again, um, there's no guarantee that we're ever going to see these emails. There still isn't. We might, but there's a good reason to think we actually might not. So uh, let me get to that. i got to do this in proper order, though. Uh, so upon seeing that, and this is at 6.14 uh, p.m., this is as soon as I saw it, I was actually um, at a local park walking my pet peeve, which is my sweet little lovely seven-year-old terrier mix. I saw that. I just couldn't believe it. I had to use an expletive, which I will censor in case there's children's is in the background, but I retweeted that from Stuart Alderati, and I wrote, holy S-word, the SEC actually gave the Hinman emails in speech drafts to Ripple. <clears throat> And I'll tell you, one of my, my first thoughts upon seeing this is, um, and it was just like, a, like, like I said, like right out the gate, one of my first thoughts, which I'm not so sure is the case now, not as confident, but one of my first thoughts was, um, I'm less confident that there's going to be settlement because one of the reasons that I was confident there was a, a good probability there would be settlement is because the SEC would never want to hand over the Ethereum free pass emails, which to be fair, I think that's what most of us in the community thought. But after thinking about it even further, and we'll talk about it a little bit later in the video, um, we still may never see this. In fact, this could be a tactic uh, having to do a settlement, which I'll get to in a second here. So my first reaction of, ooh, this might make, this might make a, you know, the odds of settlement less likely, I, 
I kind of take that back a little bit after th- having a little bit more time to digest what's going on in the situation here. Uh, now, here's what Brad Garlinghouse had to say on this. Ripple CEO Brad. The SEC wants you to think that it cares about disclosure, transparency, and clarity. Don't believe them. When the truth eventually comes out, the shamefulness of their behavior here will shock you. Okay, I could not be more curious as to what's in here. I, I couldn't. He's, he's, he's like, Brad doesn't speak in hyperbolic fashion, let's say. That's not what I, that's not, that's not the Brad that I know. So if he's saying that we will actually be shocked by what's in these emails and the drafts, uh, I take him at his word. There's something nuts in there. So could it actually be something that's exculpatory? Actually, the answer is still a potential yes, even though the SEC handed it over. So the fact that the SEC handed it over, I mean, what were they going to do? Well, I got some comments coming up from the attorneys within the XRP community, but it's like, what do you do? Just kind of like risk uh, going down the appeal route? Because there there are risks associated with it if they did that. And we already knew they didn't go the reconsideration route. I had a video on that when uh, that was, when was that date? Like the 13th, I think we knew that they hadn't filed anything. So what are their options? You know, you, you hand it over. Um, potentially, uh, again, like I said, could have something to do with settlement implications. Uh, but here's what attorney John Deaton had to say. I got actually three short tweets from him. Uh, here was the first one. He said, he retweeted the the, um, the news from Stuart Alderati, and John said, let me translate what the well-spoken general counsel is saying, in my opinion. The SEC's nickname is Shady McGrady. <laughs> I like that. And then he retweeted Brad's comment, and uh, John said, on January 1st, 2021, in my writ of mandamus, I said the filing of this case looked like it was used as a weapon. Still haven't been convinced otherwise, and it looks like I never will be. Yeah, well, that's just becoming <laughs> it's just becoming that much more evidence. We know, based on what Brad and Stewart have said here, there's some really serious stuff in here. That it just, that sh- it does. So you know, it, is there stuff in here that strengthens strengthens uh, Ripple's case? Yes, uh, based on what they said here. I, th- I think we can certainly glean that from this. Um, and then there was also this tweet from John Deaton. He just simply said, the truth can be hid for only so long. Well, hopefully that's true. Although um, there are a couple other attorneys that have indicated we still might not ever, as the, as the general public, see these emails. Uh, so here's a tweet from attorney Jeremy Hogan. He said, well, 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 the Hinman emails have been produced, smiley face. And then an XRP community member who goes by the name Adult in the room said, never saw that happening. Guess that lessens the settlement chances, question mark? Which is a fair question and fair statement. So I think vast majority of us didn't think that it was probable this would happen. And and I acknowledge it could happen, but I did not think that it was probable that Ripple would have them or that we'd see them. And we still, like I said, might not ever see them. And um, fair to ask, you know, does this lessen settlement chances? Because that was my initial thought, although... Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, it, it might, but there could be another uh, strategic reason they did this. First, let me share what Jeremy Hogan's response was. He said, hate to toot my own horn, but I will anyways. And then he shared the following quote from himself <clears throat> from uh, October 13th of this year. He said, I personally don't think the SEC will appeal because it risks adverse, adverse binding case authority by doing so. Bad facts equals bad law. And these are bad facts, end quote. So Jeremy Hogan was confident that what was most likely to occur was not only no reconsideration, but that the SEC wouldn't even appeal Judge Torres's decision that the SEC must hand over this information. So they actually did it. Interesting, is it not? Um, and then there was also this, somebody named Hamsa responded to Hogan and said, Uh, Jeremy, suppose at this point the contents will never be entered into the public court record because responses to motion for summary judgment have already been filed, question mark? And Attorney Hogan responded and said, they'll make it into the briefings coming up, but the info will be redacted. Um, So there's that. And then there's also this from uh, Attorney Bill, member of the XRP community. He said, this is massive news. Of course they are confidential. Hardly surprising. This should dispel the myth there is nothing in them of which the SEC is sensitive about. Yeah, and so pause to think about this. If I could just take a moment to reiterate this. The SEC has not fought so hard on any aspect of the case as they have here. 
in trying to prevent this information getting into the hands of Ripple, as well as ultimately the general public. They haven't fought this hard on anything. Six court orders later and they finally put it out? So that's why I said, and I felt so confident, and I feel a bit vindicated at least on that front, yeah, there's some damning stuff in there. I still don't know what it is. It's not public information currently. But it's pretty obvious there is. Brad saying it, Stewart saying it, yeah. So I responded to Bill there and I wrote, do you know if this means we'll get to see it all at some point? And Bill responded, if they go into evidence and are not sealed, if the matter settles, we won't see them if keeping them confidential is a term of the settlement. Ah, so think about that. If there is, so this could, this could be, um, since, because mind you, Judge Torres said, you have to hand this over anyway. So I guess that was going to happen if the, once they made the decision they weren't going to appeal, well, then you do have to hand it over. So could this indeed just be part of settlement talks? Well, look at this. Um, on that topic, uh, attorney Bill also wrote the following because he was asked, Bill, any insight on why Ripple would agree to keep the emails confidential? Because again, Ripple has them. Why? Indeed, as, as Stuart already said, the SEC is insisting that they keep them private, but why is Ripple adhering to that? That's an excellent question. Well, attorney Bill responded with the following. The SEC may have indicated they will file a motion to seal all or parts of the documents on some new ground, even though Judge Netburn allowed a narrow scope for redactions already. Or perhaps it is because the SEC had indicated it wants confidentiality over these documents as a term of settlement of the whole case and wants short-term maintenance of confidentiality while serious settlement discussions take place. Whew. Well, it could be either of those. I'm hoping it's the latter, sort of. Although, on the flip side, it would be a shame if we never get to see what's in here. I don't know, folks. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I want this whole damn thing just to be over, but it would be a shame if that's part of a you know, settlement agreement. I wonder if Ripple would agree to that. Or would they just strong arm the SEC because they know they've got the winning side and just be like, no, this, this app, we're absolutely not going to agree to, uh, you know, sealing this away forever, some sort of confidentiality agreement. It makes me wonder. It, was, it would be disappointing if, if Ripple agreed to that, but I don't know. We're not going to be privy to such settlement talks if they're even happening. Um, and then there was a uh, attorney, Fred Rispoli, a member of the XRP community, who uh, <clears throat> responded to Bill and said the following. Having had these email fights in other cases, highly likely they are riddled with references to XRP and other t uh, 2018 top 10 coins that were left out of the speech. Wouldn't be surprised if Cocky Hinman has a reply and they're like, don't worry about XRP, we're handling them. Yeah, and, and I responded to him and I wrote, I would not be surprised by that either. And I really wouldn't. Uh, these people are egomaniacs. So I would not be surprised in the least if, if Fred ends up being correct about that. So, man, I just, I really wish we knew it was in these things. But hey, we know this happened. That's still big news. So we know that that's a potential indicator that, um, that they're, you know, perhaps going down the settlement route. And if not, then what seems probable, if it's not going to result in settlement, then it makes it that much more likely that we will indeed get to see what's in here at some point in the future. Uh, maybe we get to see it either way, but that's where we're at right now. So this is exciting stuff. I cannot wait to hear what the rest of you have to say about this. So please drop some comments below. I really want to see what everybody has to say about this, but I'll wrap up here for now. I'm sure there'll be more to discuss on this in the coming days and weeks ahead. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.